Slayer today. My rod and reel arsenal is what I have going on. Uh, I have a tournament Saturday. Today is Thursday. I'm leaving to pre-fish Friday morning at 3 in the morning, so I'm leaving real quick here. But I had all my rods laid out. I had all the lures that I usually use on them, kind of, pretty close. So I decided this is a good time to make a rod and reel arsenal. I have more rods. Um, as you can see up on that wall, there's a few of them, and in that corner, there's a few of them. But this is mainly what I'll take. I have 15 rods that I'll take on a tournament that I have no clue what I'm going to use, which is pretty much what's going to happen. And tournament day, I'll leave probably, I don't know, six of them in the truck, so I only have whatever, nine of them. So, start off. Cabela's uh, IM7, seven foot medium heavy rod with a uh, loose speed spool 7 1 ratio. And I have a New Tech, New Tech spinner bait on it. And this is the Black Widow. Um, the, the lick I'm going to, it's really, it's low dirty water, so reaction baits and dark colored baits is pretty much what I'm keying in on a couple sharp spruces, but that's mainly if you're wondering why there's so many dark lures here. Uh, Z-Man shatter bait um, with a bluegill color trailer on it with a 7 foot medium heavy Veritas and a 7, one, seven to 1 1 ratio um, speed spool with 50 pound braid. The other one had 30 pound braid, I don't think I covered that. Next. This is a, a Shields Guide Series 7.2 medium heavy rod. Uh, I picked this up like three days ago for $10. Uh, they gave me a good deal on it because I work at Shields and whenever someone brings in a rod that's broken, they give it to us super cheap. So I got it for 10 bucks. And the only thing that's wrong with it is that insert, the ceramic insert's gone, which doesn't really matter that much for 10 bucks. So I have that with a loose speed spool 30 pound braid on it. Um, 7 to 1 ratio with a black buzz bait on there. War Eagle, if you're looking for any buzz bait for any lake, I promise you, you will catch fish on that buzz bait right there. Here's my square bill rod. It's 710 heavy, um, which a lot of people don't think you need heavy for square bill, but it's not. It's a glass rod. It has plenty of bend in it. I have a river to see. Um, Biggie Papa in here. Chartreuse with rattles for the dirty water. With a loose uh, tournament MG. With a, it's a 5 4 to 1 ratio with 14 pound floor on there. It's XPS fluorocarbon I have on that one. Moving along to here, I have a Lose Laser MG reel with a 610 medium heavy Shimano Celis rod. Uh, it's got a Z Man chatterbait on it in um, white and chartreuse color. It's got the uh, wire leader. There's a lot of northern pike where I'm going, so. That's why I have that. I just don't really fish losing $6 lures. So, here, this is my rattle trap rod and light crankbait rod. It's a medium with a 7 foot. Got a rattle trap on here, red eye. And this is a loose speed spool, 6 4 to 1 on here with 12 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. As you can tell, I'm a fan of braid, and then the only times I ever use fluorocarbon is on a cranking rod, just because I don't fish that clear of water. So, Shimano Corrado 50E, or not 50, yeah, 50E, sorry. 30 pound braid with a new tech jig on it and uh, a 7 foot medium, medium, it's not even medium heavy, it's a medium Mojo Bass rod. It's for plastics. I use it for jigs as well. It's got a lot faster tip than a medium heavy, feel a lot more bites, and there's no, I mean, it's got plenty of backbone even though it's medium. So I like using that for my plastics and jigs. Here's a 7 foot heavy Cabela's Prodigy. With a loose speed spool 7 to 1 ratio, uh, Lime Truce Spinnerbait by Booyah with 30 pound braid. Uh, I use this for pretty much everything heavy, heavy spinnerbaits, Alabama rigs, um, jigs, punching, anything like that. This is a good all around rod. Here, Shimano Cronarch with 30 pound spider wire, um, Cabela's XML 7 foot medium heavy rod. Uh, this is a real skinny rod for medium heavy. It's kind of like a mojo. It's got real, real sensitive tip in it. So this is not really what I'd be normally throwing. But where I'm going, the chatterbait bite is on. The reaction bite's on with a lot of thump. So soft plastic's not really going to be a key. So I just hooked it up with this. But normally I'd be throwing like pit boss on it, worms, that kind of stuff. Um, so there's that. And I, the gear ratio on this is 6.5. Here. This is a quantum burner reel. 7-1 ratio. This is one of my older ones. Don't really use it all that often, but I got to take it to a tournament. So 30 pound braid with, I believe this is a seven foot medium heavy Cabela's IM7 rod again. Um, these IM7s I get just for spinnerbait, buzzbaits, 
anything I don't have to feel. They don't have real good graphite, but otherwise they're pretty good. And I have a War Eagle with, um, this is a do it real image or living image skirt on it. Something bright to try, I guess. Like I said, tomorrow's only practice day. That's why I'm throwing the most random lures possible. Got a spook on here. And I normally don't throw spooks on this rod. This is normally a frogging rod, but there's absolutely zero weeds where I'm going. So I figured I might as well just throw a spook instead. There's 30 pound braid on here. I'm switching over to 50 after this trip, but I don't need that heavy of line. So this is an old Shimano Sitica. This reel is like 10 years old. This is one of my first ones. And this is a uh, Cabela's. It's an IM7, but it's a heavy. And it's, I mean, it's real stout. It's like a pool cue. This thing is super stout. So I like this for my frog and rod the most. Now to my spinning rods. This is a Shimano Claris. I think it's seven foot, seven foot medium. Yep, medium with fast action. It's got 15 pound spider wire braid on it with a Shimano Spirit X 2500. Uh, throwing a wacky rig on this. If you guys have noticed, these little plastic things over the top of my hooks, I made them out of, um, it's a gasoline pump from your boat. I had an extra piece of it, so I cut them up, stuck them over the barbs for pre-fishing so I don't hook any fish, but yet I can still feel them. Uh, I've never done it, and I feel like I better try it out. And I know a lot of people will say, just hook all the fish that you can, but I believe that hooking fish the day before a tournament is a bad idea. That's just me. So that's why I made those here. Cabela's IM7. This is a seven foot medium rod. Uh, I have a fluke on it with a five aught. Um, Daiichi hook on it, round bend. Uh, another 2500 RE Spear X reel. Uh, this is more, this is the, the heaviest spinning rod I own. I do throw spooks on it and that kind of stuff, but I like it for flukes instead of a bait caster because I can skip it a lot easier. It's got a ton of backbone to bring them out of the docks and stuff when you're skipping under docks. So that's, I prefer throwing flukes on spinning gear. That's just me. Here is more my drop shot shaky head rod. Uh, this is uh, an Extreme 200 FD Bass Pro reel uh, with a Bass Pro Extreme rod, 7 foot medium. And uh, I have a Buckeye Spot Remover with a Havoc. Um, this is the Bottom Hopper. This is the best setup I've ever had, or most success I've ever had on a setup that I own. It's uh, the Bottom Hopper with a Buckeye Lures 1 8 ounce jig head. Um, I was throwing fluorocarbon on this, but I threw a braid on it. It's a lot easier to manage, and I don't need the I don't need the clear line for this lake that I'm going to, so I switched it over to 15. Or no, this is actually 10 pound braid on that one. And then here's also 15 pound. Or this is 15 pound braid with a 200 Shimano reel. Um, it's a Syncope 200 or 2000 reel. Um, this has a little 1.0 on it. I don't really throw these 1.0s, but I saw some small bait fish in practice, so I decided I better throw this on there with. Um, Synergy Graphite Shakespeare rod, nothing fancy at all. Six six, medium. Um, this is just I. This is one of the rod and reel steps I hardly ever take. It's just throwing little stuff like this. If I throw a popper, I'd probably prefer it on this one. Short rod, you can skip them and stuff like that. So there's that. Got a total of 15 rods. I'll take to a tournament at once. Um, this is basically what I have. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm looking to buy a couple more, but this will get me by for the rest of the season. Hopefully, I don't have to blow any more money. I'm almost getting about to get my boat. It's going to be a 14 foot. Um, tra it's a track of four, top of 14 with a 65 Minn Kota on it, uh, trolling motor. So I'm excited for that. This right here, my dad's bass boat, Bass Pack Pro Protein 175. This is not what I'm going to be fishing the tournament. In. I will be fishing in a tournament in a Phoenix um, B line bass boat, 21 foot with a 250 Merc on it. So that's what I'll be fishing in. This is just my pre fishing boat that we'll be taking down there. So there's my rod optional, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, one other thing I want to add in, if you guys have any songs that you want me to do in the intro, I'm running out of song ideas. If you guys have any songs that you like or want me to use in the intro, go ahead and comment them down below. I've been meaning to say it, but I feel like I should say it now. So please comment down any song that you want to hear in the intro, and thanks for watching.